In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys in about four seconds how you can claim your Shopify website on Pinterest. I was a little confused at first, but I just figured out how to do it. So I'm going to hop over to my computer and show you how to do it. By the way, I'm Hannah Gardner. If you got any value out of this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and you know what you have to do. So again, we are confirming our website with Pinterest, and the reason you want to do this is because with any you know search engine or any social media account that you make an account, a business account on, you want to give it as much information as you can. You want to get all the verifications. You want to get um, your website confirmed, confirm your phone number, your email, whatever it asks for. You're going to want to give it for your business specifically because it's going to make you compliant with the platform. You're making them happy and you want to comply with everything that they're asking for so that you get your stuff seen in front of the most people as possible. Um, in addition to that, it even says right here um, what this is going to do once the website confirm. It's going to give us some further analytics about how our Pinterest account is sending traffic to our website. So it says confirm your website to see what people are saying from your domain, you're saving from your domain, you'll know how all your content is doing on Pinterest, just not not just the pins you save to your profile. So you wanna confirm your website. So in order to do that, you're gonna press confirm your website. Um, and what it's gonna say is um, to take this piece of code here and put this into the head section of your website's index.html file. So um, if you're not at familiar with this page, another way to get to this is by going to settings and going to claim and then going to claim your website. Now I already am just claimed my website before this, um, so I'm not gonna do it again, but I'm gonna just show you how to do it. So you're gonna click claim, you're gonna put add HTML tag, and this is that same tag that we just saw a second ago. You're gonna take this tag, you're gonna copy it, control C, you're gonna go into your website on Shopify, that was my website, and you're gonna go to actions and you are going to go to edit code, go to your theme.liquid and don't get overwhelmed with all this stuff. It, honestly, this is just how you do it. It's, um, I, you don't need a new code or anything. But what you are going to do is you're not you're going you're not you're going to look for this little um, head right here. But this is the opening one. You want to look for the closing one. So if you're on a Mac, you can go control F and that will let you search. So you're going to want to search for this thing. I don't even know what this stuff means. <laughs> Dash head. And you're going to want to you're going to want to make sure that this is the second one. Um, the closing one, which there's only two, there should only be two. So this is the opening one here, and then this is the closing one here. And you're gonna want to paste that tag right above this. Um, as you can see, mine is put right here. And then once you put it here, you're just gonna want to hit save. And then it says, "Stay tuned. We're checking your site, and we will email you in the next 24 hours." So mine should be claimed because we have. Um, it will, it should claim here in the next 24 hours since I just put that HTML tag into my website's head underneath that little head, whatever that means, the closing head tag, but it's really that simple. Um, and then hopefully here in the next 24 hours, my website will be claimed and I will be able to see that little piece of analytics, which if you want to see where you get to that, you go to here, um, analytics and you go to overview. And then if it brings you to a different page other than that, other than this, um, which I'm gonna call it, there should be a little thing here that says, bring me back to the old anal uh, analytics overview because I know they're updating this as of this video. Um, but it looks like I, it already is syncing here and it says, please check back soon. We're processing the latest data. So it looks like this is already in the works of getting this updated. So. Cool stuff, and if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. And this video is made uh, as uh, July 24th of 2019, so there may be updates. Don't freak out if you're watching this video a year from now and it's changed. So um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.